Let's talk a little bit about finding, coming up with uh, an effective and manageable research paper topic. Now, a couple things just to start with. Um, number one is when you start research, often you're not going to know a ton about the topic before um, you start doing the research. So don't be afraid that as you start reading the literature on your topic to let the topic evolve as you start learning about it. So in other words, you may not know the right questions to ask about your topic so that you can come up with an effective um, final topic to actually write about and add your own ideas to. And then also, as you start reading the literature, let the evidence that you encounter um, lead you to that final topic of interest and especially to how, you know, what kind of um, arguments you're going to make about that topic, what kind of ideas you're going to add on to it. In other words, you want to, if, if you can, come at a, a research topic as open-minded as possible. And then also, you want to uh, find a topic that is of real interest to you, that drives your own curiosity. If you can, find an aspect of a topic that does that. Research shows that uh, the, the, the paper that you produce will be better. Your grades will probably improve as well. Now. So a good way to explore a possible topic and to help you find an effective aspect of that topic is to brainstorm about your topic and specifically about possible subtopics that authors and researchers might write about and key words that are associated with that topic you, that you can then use to search the literature to find resources, information sources on your topic. And one easy way to think about this brainstorming process is to ask yourself what we call the four W's about your topic. And that is, who's involved? Where geographically am I talking about or am I focusing in on? Um, when in time um, am I looking at this topic? And then uh, the large one is, what sort of disciplinary lens am I looking at this topic through? So, one way uh, to, to demonstrate this is using a visual tool right, that I've put on the screen called a mind map. And this is, you, can, you can also just write your topic at the, the top of a blank piece of paper and just start brainstorming. And so, in, this, in the middle bubble here, I have my own sample topic of drug abuse among teens. So let's say I'm starting with this sort of broad topic and I want to try and narrow it down and try and figure out what aspects of it might be of interest to me. So using the four W's in the upper left, I would ask myself, so who's involved here? So the starting who is teens, right? Drug abuse among who? Among teens. So two ways to think about this brainstorming process. We want to try and come up with um, related words and phrases because as we all know the English language is a slippery thing there are often multiple words or phrases that can be used to describe the same concept so if you think of something like a teenager um, there are other words listed here like adolescent youth a specific age range etc so synonyms are one way to to look at this another way is also subtopics so you think about the demographic of a teenager but if a researcher is looking at this, might they look at, might they be able to slice the demographic of a teenager into smaller segments? For example, the gender of the teenagers, or the economic status, or the ethnicity, um, et cetera. Might those aspects of the teen's environment um, have an effect on when and how they abuse drugs, for example? So that is the first W, that's who. The second W is probably the most overlooked aspect, and that's, uh, or I mean, the, 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 the most straightforward aspect, and that's where geographically are you focusing in on. So in my example topic, drug abuse among teens, do I want to focus in on teens all around the world, or might it be more effective to focus in on a specific country or state or region, or compare different geographic regions? Do I want to look at rural versus urban teens in the United States or in New York State? Or compare teenagers who are abusing drugs um, in California and New York and see if the laws in those states might be having an effect? So that is where, fairly straightforward. 
the third W, when, is is actually the most overlooked aspect. And that is, you know, primarily, is there a his, an historical aspect of your topic? So in this case, drug abuse among teens. Am I only talking about drug abuse among teens as it exists today? Or would it also be useful to me to look at how it existed in the past? Do I want to, for example, um, look at how drug abuse has changed among our teen populations over time? Or do a comparison between, let's say, 1960s teens and today's teens? Do I want to see how what has changed over time? Um, and that will not only have an impact on my topic and, and possible ways to narrow it down, but it can also have an impact on in the kinds of information sources that would be useful to me. So, for example, if I'm only looking at drug abuse among teens as it exists today, something that was written in the 1960s may not be useful to me. But if there's that historical aspect that uh, might play a part of my topic, let's say I was comparing 1960s teens to today's teens, then something that was written in, in the 1960s would probably be crucial to my topic and I would want to seek out those information sources. And in addition, this can also have an effect on the uh, search tools that you end up looking through the literature in. So if there's a, a historical aspect of your topic, it may prove useful to find a history database to see if you know there's something that talks about the history of drug abuse among the teen populations in the United States, for example. They might look at it from a sort of holistic overview to give you that sort of what what has changed over time, right? So that is the third W when. Now the fourth W is probably the most open-ended aspect, but the, the the easiest way to to consider this is. What uh, disciplinary lens or area of study am I looking at this topic through? Now, a lot of times this will be pretty self-apparent um, based on your topic, but sometimes, like in this one, drug abuse among teens, well, am I looking at this from a psychological perspective, from a um, legal perspective or a criminal justice perspective, from a uh, family uh, counseling perspective, from a health perspective, from a media studies perspective, how it's portrayed in the media. So that is one sort of way to narrow that down. Another way is to think about, again, think about key uh, synonyms, subtopics. So the main uh, sort of what is drug abuse, right? So we're talking about drug abuse. but So we can think of alternate terminology like substance abuse, um, addiction, a specific type of drug abuse or addiction, prescription drugs, heroin addiction, alcohol abuse. And then we can also think about subtopics within drug abuse. Are there aspects of the wide concept of drug abuse that we might want to focus in on, like preventing drug abuse, rehab programs, how drug abuse affects the behavior or the cognitive development of the teenager, how it's portrayed in the media, what laws exist out there to combat drug abuse or to, um, to, penal to penalize drug teens who are, are uh, abusing drugs? What's the impact on the family unit or the local community, um, etc.? So you can see now the, the, your answers to these questions, these four W's, will vary widely. And this is also what, one final thing before we end, is this sort of brainstorming topic is fully open-ended. There's no right or wrong answers when you're doing this. So part of this process will also be, well, you, you know, you can come up with these brainstorming words and it might be say, okay, well, I've, you know, thought of prevention, rehabilitation, behavior, but I really want to focus in on the, you know, how it affects the behavior. So I can cross out these other ones and focus in on that. So part of this brainstorming process is also to, to eliminate possibilities, to help you narrow that topic, okay? So that's it. That is um, how to brainstorm.